I was uh, shocked in June of 2017 when I received the CFPB's civil investigative demand on my firm. It asked for my entire office, client confidential material, um, all my data, all my documents, uh, all my IT. I said, why am I being investigated? What did I do wrong? And at that time, they told me that they uh, did not have to tell me. Ultimately, this case is about a gross abuse of power. Crystal Maroney has a right to be free from the unlawful exercise of governmental authority, and that is exactly what the CFPB exercises it. First of all, we have a non-delegation problem. Article 1, Section 9 of the United States Constitution says Congress appropriates funds for governmental operations, and it has to be done through law. That's Congress's exclusive responsibility. It can't divest itself of that responsibility, and that's exactly what it's done here. It's unconstitutional for reasons of its structure. It has a single director removable only for cause, and it's unconstitutional when you have an organization so uh, hermetically sealed off from the political branches and from accountability that they feel free to abuse process and to harass her and her clients. I produced uh, to the first CID everything I could, but I rightfully withheld client privilege documentation. She, as an attorney, has an ethical obligation to secure her client's confidentiality. She did her best to negotiate a, a mutually acceptable solution to the, the problem, and she couldn't. So the CFPB said, we're gonna go ahead and enforce this in court. Instead, the CFPB manufactured mootness. In bad faith, they told the court that they were withdrawing the first CID and that there was nothing between the parties, no controversy for the court to decide. But that wasn't the case. Three days later on November 7th, the judge dismissed the case because he believed that there was nothing before him to adjudicate. Four hours after the judge dismissed the case, the CFPB sent an email to Ms. Moroni's attorneys and said, we're gonna reissue that CID now. And the CID received a week later on November 14th was substantially the same. Unfortunately, I'm not the only one that has received the CID since this happened to my firm. I have recently found out that my clients and clients of clients are receiving CIDs because of this action. I want the harassment to stop. I've been spending time and money for the last three years and I really can't operate my business anymore. Uh, I also certainly don't want it to happen to another business owner. Uh, I do often describe it to family and friends as fighting a three-headed beast. As soon as you make some progress on one head, you're fighting two more heads and the third grows back. It just feels uh, somewhat hopeless, like there's no rules that apply to this opponent. This case illustrates what happens when an administrative agency turns on the citizens it purportedly exists to serve, and only the judicial branch can restore Ms. Moroni's civil liberties.